you can capture images and send them to the output panel for print. The way to do that, let's take particularly this panel image. Here we've selected base panel image. We're just going to load it up from the patient list. And once it's loaded up, uh, we can select particular uh, window level that we wish. Now, we can add the name by clicking the letter I and clicking the letter A for orientation. Now, to capture this, we could do it two ways. We could right click it, go to capture. Um, also, you could press the letter C on the keyboard. Quickly press the letter C on the keyboard. You might hear a little click on the computer. Go to the output panel, okay, and um, let's go capture this way. Once you've got in the output panel, uh, however many images you have, you can uh, select just the one by one format, there's just one. Uh, you could go to uh, the printer, if you got a printer hooked up, uh, or you go save as, you can save it as a uh, JPEG file, let's say. Just rename it what you wish, send it to where, where you wish. Um, you could go to um, a, a simple report feature, um, that if you've got simple report uh, selected, um, you can pick a particular name of a doctor, well that'd be you, your patient, we would set this up for you on site and um, a little logo and you can type in the fields here the second page is where you'll uh, see the uh, patient information on the screen uh, the image that you captured okay so that's uh, quickly how you uh, can uh, make your capture in that regard okay so uh, once it's um, once it's captured you uh, go to the output panel and there are your images to select and uh, you can also email them, by the way, if you have Outlook uh, email, you can select email and it'll automatically attach uh, in that way. So that's how you capture images. Now you can send it back to the DICOM server by this, meaning uh, if you just want to rename it, uh, practice, so you can save individual uh, JPEG images. Uh, you probably wouldn't need to do it here with the panel. Well, let's go to uh, a 3D image, let's say. So to do that, you come in Output, go to Review and uh, actually go to patient list and then you'll uh, load up the 512 slices up here double click or hit the load icon either one works uh, we'll delete what's in the output panel for now so when you get that it says delete as long as you've done something with it in the output panel save it as a file or print and you could delete whatever is in your output panel as long as you know what you have done with those particular images when you're in the 3d mode and you got the axial crawl and sagittal screens if you want to save a particular uh, feature that you want to do let's just go to uh, let's say this screen here, let's say you want to save this and um, save it to the uh, output panel. So a number of ways of doing that, you can simply, um, whatever highlighted box, wherever you're pointing your arrow, you see the red frame around the outer periphery, that is the active box. So whether you just press the C on the keyboard with the highlighted red box around the frame, whatever you wish, whatever frame you wish, or you can uh, right click you can capture whatever the red frame is as a single capture. If you want to capture all views, press capture all views. It captures everything on the screen. Uh, so that is how uh, you can capture images. So to demonstrate that, we capture all views. Okay. We go again to the uh, output panel. Okay. And um, let's change the format. So you know you've got four images. So you can go print format two by two, or you got four. Okay. So you can you know print save as simple report. Uh, email film don't worry that's just basically like if you have a, a thermal printer uh, mostly for hospital grade uh, large clinics but probably you don't need this for film real printer now if you go to DICOM server here's what you could do if you click DICOM server okay actually even before you do that series description in this case we'll just call it test so what you do is uh, you click that hit DICOM server and you're sending it back to its own the own PC, your own PC, you're sending it back to the patient list. So after you've done that, go back to patient list, update patient list, and uh, once you do that, highlight the name, see test, the image is four, that's the four images you set up, and you can just simply scroll down and see individual, individual four images that way. But most likely, most of the time when you're in the uh, output panel, it's so that uh, you can um, print and uh, or, e or email, uh, so that's how you do it. Either C on the keyboard, capture, or right click and uh, capture as well, not, not from this screen. Okay, but from this screen, again, the, the letter C for capture, press it just very quickly, or uh, one can uh, right click, capture, or capture all views. Once you do that, you must, uh, in this case, this frame is highlighted, hit capture, 
you must go to output panel and then you must go to capture first then output panel and then from output panel you have your functions on what to do okay so that's a quick way of uh, capturing and uh, saving um, another quick way you can do it too is if you don't want to go to the output panel let's go to review let's say you launch a 3d you can just right click it and go save save um, save image see go down to save image and you can save it directly into a particular file wherever you want call that file and select JPEG bitmap or diecom usually JPEG is sufficient okay so uh, once you hit save it goes to where you want it make sure you have the file name you highlight this either delete it or type right over and type your patient name in before you capture okay or save as a file that way it's already saved all right so um, that way when you re re recall it uh, you could simply uh, have the patient name you know where who the patient is and uh, so you can identify it when you uh, do something with that captured image okay well, that about does it for capturing